Today, we are going to shake up pasta night. We're gonna do a garlic spinach pasta kicked up with, wait for it, dun dun dun, za'atar is gonna be epic. We have a boatload of spinach right here, about 12 ounces, but don't you worry, it will all poof. <laughs> it's gonna shrink. Yeah. As in poof, it's gone. Za'atar is actually the proper way to say it, and it is epic if you haven't tried it. It is made of Mediterranean wild thyme, toasted sesame seeds, and sumac. You can find it on themediterraneandish.com. Just hit the shop tab when you get there. First, I got a pot of boiling well-salted water and we're gonna go ahead and drop our spaghetti in. Pasta is happily cooking, so we need us about five-ish nice large garlic cloves because it is a garlic pasta, so we're not gonna be shy with our garlic. Never gets old. So we've got our garlics. We're gonna go ahead and give this a good mince. The good Lord did not gift me with the gift of singing. And so I'm just thinking that my gift is just gonna be chopping garlic. I'm good at that. So I'm gonna keep that as my day job. Five large garlic cloves go right in here. So just as the pasta is nearly done, but not quite, we're gonna grab some of the pasta water because we're gonna work on our little sauce and we don't wanna forget, we need some of this starchy water. We're gonna get our pan nice and warm at medium. You're gonna wanna use some good extra virgin olive oil because it is actually going to bring this whole party together. I like to use a more robust olive oil for this one, like something with a little bit of a peppery finish. So I'm using the Spanish Oje Blanca. It's available on our shop page. So I actually need a good bit, about three quarter cup or so. So I'm starting with a little bit for now. And you're gonna wanna manage your heat. I started at medium. We're gonna go in with our garlic, cook it up for a little while. Watch this carefully, you don't want your garlic to brown. So again, medium-ish heat. Toss the garlic about. It smells so good. Garlic, olive oil. This is not all the olive oil yet, you guys, but don't you worry, because we have a lot, a lot of things that have to go in here. Now to build my sauce, I'm gonna add a bit of the pasta cooking water. Not all of it, just a little bit. And with the rest of my olive oil now. Managing my heat. Lemon juice. So this sauce is all sorts of delicious just with a few simple ingredients. It's gonna be a flavor party, as I say. Spinach. <laughs> We're using 12 ounces of spinach. This will all shrink. So you're gonna do this in batches. Coat them up. Still over medium-ish heat. You're gonna season with kosher salt as you go. What you're looking for is for the spinach to wilt. So as it does, go in with a little bit more. This is what cooking your spinach in batches looks like. Okay, and you just need to remember that you can help it with two ingredients right here, right now. You can help it with either a little bit of the pasta water, a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Either way, you are building your sauce for the garlic spinach pasta. See what we started with is now very manageable when you do it in batches. This party is coming together well. We're gonna add a couple more flavor makers. So one teaspoon crushed red pepper flakes. Sometimes I'll use Aleppo pepper if we don't want too much heat. And then I need about a tablespoon of za'atar. Smells so good. Now my pasta is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and drain it, and then we're gonna bring this party together. All right, here we are, guys. We are almost done. What do you call these? Tongs. You're gonna go in with the pasta. Ooh. Right here, right now. All right, it's looking good. Mix this party together. At this point, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep adding 
Right here I have the zest of that lemon that I used. I'm gonna go in with some Parmesan. And I like to layer, you guys. Layer and toss and add as you go. A Little bit more of the pasta water and a good bit more of the za'atar, all right? Help it out with a little bit more olive oil. Just when you thought the flavor party was over, oh no, going in with some fresh parsley. Going in with the rest of my Parmesan and giving everything a good, good toss. This is an epic pasta night waiting to happen, you guys. I cannot wait to dig in. Grab the recipe for my simple garlic spinach pasta with za'atar over on the mediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.